Absolutely, just like this next guy. Well, he's not the biggest man in town, Jake, but at 5'7", 212 and a half, he's never going to play in the NBA. But Mondo, for all his personality quirks, is a great wrestler and an overall amazing athlete. His opponent, wrestling out of Long Island, New York, weighing 212 and one half pounds, Mike Mondo! Godzilla fears Mondo. Will Silva fear Mondo? Opening contest, kicking off a big hour. Let's go to the tail of the tape. As you can see, Mondo, older, Silva with the height advantage. Don't tell Mike, though. <laughs> the weight dead even. But you'll see uh, Mondo's somewhat condescending adherence to the code of honor. Now, Mondo, of course, also 0-1 so far. Neither athlete wants to go to 0-2 here in, on Ring of Honor television, Nigel. Absolutely not, because you go 0-2, you may not ever get a chance to go 0-3. So we'll see how the intensity gets ratcheted up here. Of course, the big news of the week, Eddie Edwards' new trainer has been revealed. A lot of uh, feelings between both Edwards and Richards. Inside Ring of Honor later on as Silva goes for... Test of strength here. Who do you think is going to win this one? Well, usually, correct me if I'm wrong, Nigel, the height advantage of Silva might give him the edge here. In, in that case, just that shoulder block took him down. Do you find sometimes, though, that it's the wherewithal? Mondo believes he's bigger, so therefore he's going to fight like a bigger guy? I mean, a lot of times, yeah, it's oh. the psychological aspect of it which wins, yeah. And well, now each man even trying to jockey for position, both with overhand chops. And now, each trying to figure the other out. Look at this. Look at that. Overhand chops, headstand. Phenomenal athletes in Ring of Honor. Look at that. And they had to have the referee unhook them. There was no way they could get out themselves. So now Todd Sinclair having, <laughs> <laughs> having trouble standing up. Well, sometimes the referee gets caught up in the action. That gives Mondo, there though, the go. opportunity. That's the experience advantage right there. Back was turned, took the shot. He's in advantage now. Now Mondo, oh, going for broke. Wow. Corkscrew over the top rope. Down hard on the French Canadian phenom. For that, he probably knows he's zero and one. He's got to make the, got to make it count here. You know, and on having a great record in other promotions is, you only get so much leeway here in Ring of Honor. Absolutely, I know a lot of people oh. watching at home don't realize how many tens of thousands of people oh, no. who are professional wrestlers outside this company would love to be in this spot right here. So our main event tonight, the Team Richards Challenge. It was Davey's idea for ROH to telecast this full-on match between Davey and his training partner, Team Richards member Kyle O'Reilly. Apparently, Davey wants to show his training methods are as effective as what Eddie might be getting from Dan Sever. You can see it's definitely got Cover. in his head. It's definitely affected him, you know? Uh, it certainly is more competitive than ever in the final weeks leading to Richards Edwards three at final battle on December 23rd. If, if you look at MMA, you look at a lot of guys that train together in MMA, a lot of them will never actually fight each other in a match. So you've really got to question them having a match here today. Mondo continuing to pour the pressure on Silva here. You know, it's been two weeks since we heard of the lawsuit filed against ROH executive producer Jim Cornette by Kevin Steen. And we will have Cornette's first public comment regarding Kevin Steen and his lawsuit right after this match. As Mondo firing forearm smashes, and it has been the case, Silva answers. There we go. Silva getting the better of that exchange, but perhaps just for a moment as Mondo follows in hard. And now Silva comes back. Spinebuster. Shoulders are down. Will it be enough? No, Mondo. Just a two count. Kind of a lackadaisical cover there. Could have got more body-to-body -body contact. That's what you need to get that three count. We'll see the prodigy Mike Bennett in our next match. And we'll update you on the world television title situation as well. Mondo, certainly a great technical wrestler. Oh, and he catches him. Right, something there. Silva's matched his technical skill. 
Mondo could brawl as well, and Silva has gone punch for punch. Powerbomb. Look at the way Mondo slid out of that. Very nice. Look at that now, Nigel. Version of the Fujiwara armbar there. Trying, it's just that, that right shoulder. Yep, that right shoulder came out. Doesn't have the leverage right now. Todd Sinclair is right there. If Silva's gonna tap out, he does it. He gets to the rope to force the break. And as I've always said before, you can see it in people's eyes. You could see in Silva's eyes there, he wasn't close to tapping. So now Mondo's gone. He's tried to go punch for punch. Silva's answered. He's able to escape the submission hold. Single leg. Step over toe hold. Second spine buster. Oh. No. Lovely reversal there from Mondo. Big boot there from Mondo. And now Mondo in position. Hits. Wow. A double arm DDT. He's dimmed the lights of Silva and Mike Mondo wins. Those lights are out. We said it before, he may not be the biggest man in Ring of Honor, but Mike Mondo certainly means business. Look at this, double arm DDT. Oh, he drilled him. You see the way the leg kicked through there, added momentum. A, the three count. a big win for Mondo, but right now, let's go to executive producer Jim Cornette and his first public statement on the Kevin Steen situation.